If you want to get results like this, this, and this, keep watching. If you're tired of wasting hours scrolling through TikTok, hoping to find a winning product, or maybe you've tried launching your ads and that flopped miserably because the product wasn't good enough. Or maybe you just want to print money by running high converting Snapchat ads before masses catch on, then this is the only video you're gonna need to watch. I'm about to show you how to use AI to hack product research and find viral products, untapped winners in less than three minutes. So keep watching, I'm gonna teach you everything. I'm gonna walk you through chat GPT hacks to uncover products before they go viral. I'm gonna walk you through how to steal proven winners using PP ads, TikTok Creative Center, and ad libraries, and my exact AI prompts that pull up products with insane profit margin. Honestly, this is how top e-com brands are secretly picking products and that's how they've been able to scale to six and even seven figures. If you stay until the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my private AI product research cheat sheet, but only for the ones who take action. So if you're ready, let's go. Guys, most people don't realize, but ChatGPT is a gold mine for finding viral products before anybody else does. Instead of guessing what to sell, we're going to let AI do the heavy lifting. We're gonna open ChatGPT, so let's go ahead and open your ChatGPT. We're gonna give them the proper prompt. We're not using ChatGPT like Google, okay? We're gonna give them all the good prompts. All right, the first prompt that we're gonna give it is predict five e-commerce drop shipping products that are likely to go viral in the next three months based on their influencer activity, market trends, and consumer behavior. Explain why each, each has high viral potential. Here we are. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. All right, based on current influencer, eco-friendly reusable products. Number two, home fitness equipment with the continued emphasis on health. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, again, winter is ending and usually January to February is when people are just looking to their fitness and stuff. Pet accessories and supplies. Four, smart home devices. Five, personalized jewelry. So these are, this is a very general thing to keep in mind, but now we're gonna get even more detail. Products and things that we want. So next thing we're gonna ask is give me three e-commerce product with high profit margin and low competition niche include estimate selling price and reason why they have high demand, right? All right, so we're gonna put this in there. There we are. Cool, right here we have silicone stretch lids. Estimated cost is three to four, selling price is 10 to 12. Profit, profit margin is about 60 to 70, 70%. So this is something that, again, with growing emphasis on sustainability and reduced plastic waste and all that, this is something you can look into. So let's look at some silicone stretch lids on AliExpress. A lot of times you might be able also to ask the, for the link, but I like to go ahead and find the products myself because then you can, you can just look into more products that could be similar to this product. So like, for example, this has been around for a while, but now the time that people are just more about sustainability, they don't wanna throw things away. So let's, let's see what kind of similar products we can find. So for example, this one, let's look at this one. Okay, this is something that I think it would be better than the other product that we looked at because the other product we might have seen a lot of them, but this one is definitely, uh, we probably can have even better profit margin. Okay, so we're gonna go and copy this and put it in our Google Doc sheet to save and we take a look later, Google Doc sheet. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save this for now. And later on I can come and do more research on this. Okay. Let's look at this next thing that it would recommend. Pet grooming gloves. I don't know what that is, but let's take a look. So here it says estimated. So one thing I wanna also ask is that I want the profit margin. So sometimes you have to change your prompt. Profit margin to be at least $20. Okay, sometimes you have to give it multiple prompts to get the right answer. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just correcting a little bit here and there, okay? All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, automatic pet feeder. Oh my God. Uh, reason for high demand. A pet ownership increases, so does the demand for convenience. Pet care, care solutions, automatic pets. So we can also check this out in Google Trend real quick, just to see how the trend is doing so we're gonna go to Google Trend we're gonna go to automatic pet feeder and we're gonna go search I'm gonna look at it and then last possibly five years I want to see if it's going as you can see it's, it is definitely trending up so okay this is something that is definitely trending up and it could be something that you could 
maybe find a unique product. So let's go here and then search automatic pet feeder. All right, so there's a bunch of them. There's different version. Okay, these are the ones that I'm very interested in. This has the potential to eventually be branded. There's a lot of, okay, so like this one, unique ones that you can take a look at. Maybe this one is very unique looking. So, but try to find things that are unique and not that much. Like, let's say we, we've seen people selling one version, which we're gonna do after. And then we're gonna find products that are similar to that product. So let's say we have that in mind. Now, the next step is to go validate it, right? So how I like to validate it is going to PP ads. So we're gonna we're trying to sell products on Snapchat ads, right? The goal is for me is to see if the product is doing well on different platforms. Snapchat usually is the last platform that catches up, if that makes sense. So a lot of times in my products that were dead on Facebook and TikTok, I would put them on Snapchat and it would start performing. So in this case, you know, my other roles for different platforms don't apply. So I always say, look for products that are super, like there's not that many people selling. That's not the case necessarily here because we're running on Snapchat ads. We're gonna look to see what's selling good on TikTok and Facebook and then put it on Snapchat. So let's come here. Let's go to our ads, runppads.com. If you don't know what PP ads are, it's a platform that you can spy on the competition. I'll put the link down below too. If you guys wanna check it out, I'm gonna go on TikTok and I'm gonna go to automatic pet feeder. Okay, we're gonna scroll down. So I see a couple of version of this. I see this one. And I like to also add in the filter, I wanna add the country. Oh, there we are. Okay, the country, because sometimes you might see just random countries that are running it in. And let's do US. Okay, we'll see this one has 232,000 impression. That means that they're doing really well. This is a really good product. So what this is what I'm talking about. Finding products that are similar to something that was performing but this product I've never seen, like this version that keeps the food cold or what? Look how easy it is. I just pop it right. I just love like my other pet fever products. I have it all on one app. You can see all of my devices. I'm just able to feed them at the touch of my fingertips. I can also set up and customize love this. So love this, right? Love this. Let's see if we can find something on AliExpress or on Alibaba. Uh, something that is similar so for example this one i'm not sure why is this expensive like we don't care right now discussing the price but let's see what's so unique about this it just looks cool so i thought i would open it it doesn't have that much explanation so let's go see what else we can find that is similar that could have potential let's go back here i saw one that ha oh all right so let's look at this one i think this is kind of something similar that you can close it and then you can open it when you're ready to feed your dog or cat uh, automatic lid opening feed the pet smart dispenser time okay this is timed very nice there are a bunch of other different ones here that you can kind of take a look to see at least for now this you know chat is telling us what's trending and what's not trending right so this is something that i would 100 consider finding the unique version of this and ordering it make a bunch of videos for it and go from there all right so let's go back and let's talk about the other one so air purifiers here estimated cost is 20 to 50 dollars selling price 70 to 150 i love that smart home devices security cameras do sell really well so that's something that we scaled a couple of them. You just have to find really good ones. They're always on demand. Estimated price, you can get it for 30 to 60. You can probably sell it for 100. Profit margin about 70 to 140 dollars. I personally like to, if you're a complete beginner, don't go for products over 60, 70 bucks because we want to find impulse buyers. Anyhow, let's look at the next prompt that I can give you guys. What are the influencers secretly pushing hard right now, right? What we're going to do, we're going to analyze influencer activities and find some products. So we're going to give ChatGPT this exact prompt. Okay. Analyze influencer activity across TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Identify three trending e-commerce products that influencers are heavily promoting. This doesn't have to be necessarily dropshipping or dropshipping. Dropshipping is just a business a fulfillment model. We can find, like we can come up with the idea of the products and we can go find it on Alibaba or AliExpress. So here we are again. Let's take a look at Advent Calendar. Okay, Advent Calendars are doing really well. Let's see why. Marketing approach. Uh, influencers on platforms like TikTok and YouTube are engaging in unboxing videos. For some reason, they're doing really well. So that's something to keep in mind. Lip care products, marketing lip care items such as balm, glosses. And, and honestly, there's some good products that are advertisable. Um, I wouldn't go with skincare, maybe lip product, but I don't like to go, okay, no skincare. And let's see what else it gives us. Fashion accessories, or let's give it dropshipping products, dropshipping products. Sometimes I just like to not include it just to see what kind of results I'm getting. 
but in this case, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, smart thermostat. Okay, I'll, I can see that. The global smart home market is experiencing significant growth. Okay, that's good to know. This is so much studying and learning of what products are trending up. So once you get that, so let's say now, even with this eco-friendly products, we can go on trends and search it and then see how it's looking. So if you see, it's dramatically increasing in the past seven years. So this is something to keep in mind. These trends are growing. So the product that you choose could be something that could fit one of these. All right, guys. So these are some of my favorite ways of giving ChatGPT prompt to figure out the products for us. I also do have 10 more here. I'm not gonna show you right now because stay till the end of the video. I'm gonna give you all the prompts that you can put on ChatGPT to get extreme, like all the results in there. Other ad library that you can look at. So for example, TikTok has its own ad library, TikTok ad library. And like I told you before, a lot of times it's a little different when it comes to running ads on Snapchat, just because Snapchat is not as saturated as... Guys, if you didn't know, TikTok ads has its own library that you can spy on, you can look at the products, it's free, completely free, and you can check out all their data to see if these products are going viral. So for example here, we're gonna look at top ads dashboard. We're, we're in the US, you can even pick the industry. So let's say pet products, right? It says that it's trending up right now. So let's go to pet products. And we're gonna look at some of these things that might be similar to what we were looking at. Let me see, objective, it's gonna be purchase conversion last 30 days is fine English right here and here we are let's scroll down and see what kind of products we can all right let's take a look at this high performing ads I remember this product going viral on Facebook ads and right here they're getting 38% CTR, is low budget. However, it has the potential of going viral. Another thing is, we can copy the link. Guys, this is another trick for you guys. If you don't know, you can put the Google, uh, ads library link into your chat GPT and ask it for to give you all the data. So, let, so I just copy pasted it here and it's giving me all the information. Niche is a pet product, industry is this. High as pet ownership continues to grow globally. Tell me if this product is trending up. What's cost of good? How much should I sell it for? Sell it, can you find me suppliers? on Alibaba or AliExpress. I'm pushing on the last one, okay? We'll see, we'll see what it says. All right, it already gave you all the stuff, but I just put the questions there because you can kind of break it down. Let's see, so the foldable pet pooper, pet pooper scooper is featured among the hot, top selling items in, on Alibaba is listed for 0 0.65 to $2 and is recommended to sell for $27.95, positioning your selling price between 20 to $30. Potential supplier, here we are. Supplier, okay, it found me a bunch of supplier that I already can contact and find. I probably can even ask ChatGPT to find me suppliers with good reviews. In conclusion, the foldable pet pooper scooper demonstrates consistent demand in a market with a low COGs and a competitive selling price. It offers a substantial profit margin. So here we are. ChatGPT is even approving and verifying the product for us. I don't even have to do it. You can just continue doing your research if you want to do it free. You don't want to have PP ads. You can go here and then find the products, put it on ChatGPT. So let's say, let's not even do pets. Let's just do something else. And then we kind of go from there. Let's do this product, right? So we're gonna go copy the link and then we're gonna close it. And we're gonna go to ChatGPT. We're putting it right there and it's gonna get all the information that we need. All right, so we get all the information we need. The same thing, you can even open a project here and then train your chat to do this exact same thing. So we can open a project, tell your chat that, hey, I want you to do this, 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 every time I give you a link. So every time that you give it a link is gonna do all the research for you. All right, guys, I ask you to stay till the end of the video for the link to these products. What I want you guys to do is go to my Instagram, Ecom Playbook right here. Make sure that you follow me and then DM me AI product research 
and I will send you all the prompts, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna learn more about Snapchat ads, how to run them, how to set up your pixel, how to build a store, all that good stuff, I put everything in a little guide for $19 only. I put the link down below, go ahead and check it out. There's a lot of good information in there if you're just getting started, or maybe you're, you wanna learn a little bit more, go ahead and check it out and let me know what kind of videos you want me to make next, and I'll see you guys on the next video.